Choosing the right email marketing platform can be overwhelming. There are so many options. So do you just settle for MailChimp? Or is there a better option? In this video, I'm comparing six top email marketing platforms to find out which one is right for you. Now, while these six platforms may look similar on the surface, there's quite a few subtle differences when we compare them. So before I get into any specifics, I want to briefly introduce each platform and give an overview of what they're known for. First is MailChimp. MailChimp is the jack of all trades email marketing platform. It's what many users default to because it's well known. It's decent at everything, but it doesn't specialize in anything. Next is Kit, which used to be called ConvertKit. Kit is designed with content creators, authors, and artists in mind. It gives you the tools to bring your audience from social media to your newsletter, eventually converting them to paid customers. Moving on, Constant Contact is another jack of all trades platform, but it has the unique unique ability to do event management. It can host event registration forms and process payments, which is not something you're going to find in other platforms. It's similar to ActiveCampaign, though ActiveCampaign lacks the event management features. However, ActiveCampaign is known for its advanced automation, excelling ahead of the competition in this area. And finally, I'll be testing both Klaviyo and Omnisend, which both specialize in e-commerce. So while all of these providers get the job done for general email marketing, let's see which ones are the most affordable and fit your needs best. Starting with the pricing, MailChimp, Kit, Klaviyo, and Omnisend all offer free plans. Klaviyo is limited to 250 contacts, MailChimp and Omnisend are limited to 500 contacts, and Kit is limited to an impressive 10,000 contacts. Additionally, Kit has no send limits. Where most platforms limit free plans to 2x the contact limit and paid plans to 10 to 12x the contact limit, Kit has no limits on free or paid plans. So for example, looking at the 2,500 contact plans, every provider allows you to send between 25,000 and 30,000 emails per month, but Kit is unlimited. Kit is the obvious choice if you need a generous free plan. Just keep in mind that they force you to include recommendations to other similar newsletters in this free plan. You will have to upgrade to remove that section and access all of the automation features. If you're ready to upgrade to a paid plan, MailChimp is surprisingly the cheapest option in many cases. I was under the impression that MailChimp was overpriced before doing this comparison, so I was surprised to learn that MailChimp is actually price competitive. Now, if you're looking at the constant contact pricing and thinking, wow, that looks ridiculously expensive compared to the others, you'd be correct. I chose to include the standard plan instead of the light plan, which is constant contacts entry level plan. For clarity, I included the entry level plans of all of the other providers. So why did I choose the standard plan for constant contact? Well, subject line A-B testing and email scheduling is not included in the light plan. Come on, constant contact. Email scheduling is one of the most basic features of any email marketing system, and it's a feature that many users use. Because of this, I feel it's fair to disregard the light plan and include the standard plan. Both of these features are included in the entry-level plans of every other provider. Now, speaking of reserving features for higher plans, another thing I wanted to point out is that Omnisend includes almost every feature in all of the plans. They only reserve the advanced reports for the highest plan, but every other feature is included in the free plan and the entry-level plan. Omnisend also gives you access to 24-7 human customer support, even on the free plan, and I find it much easier to get help from Omnisend than most providers. Okay, but what tools do these platforms give you to collect new subscribers? After all, your newsletter isn't worth much if your list isn't growing. Every platform allows you to create landing pages that you can link to from everywhere. And you can also create pop-up forms and sign-up forms that you can embed on any website using HTML. I was able to embed these forms easily in my Wix Studio site, and some platforms like MailChimp, Klaviyo, and Omnisend even have official Wix Studio apps for deeper integration. It's worth noting that MailChimp has the most integrations by far in third-party platforms and plugins. 
This is due to its popularity. In a way, I'd describe MailChimp as the name brand email marketing platform. All of these platforms have a flexible API that you can tap into as a developer, and they all support Zapier so you can collect new emails just about anywhere. However, if you like the convenience of platforms and plugins like WordPress contact forms adding emails to your newsletter without having to jerry-rig something together, MailChimp has integrations with just about everything. Personally, I don't mind configuring email signups with Zapier, sure triggers, or webhooks, but having the most integrations may be important to you if you don't want to deal with these other methods. Now, if you're looking for a new solution to build your client websites and landing pages, check out Wix Studio. I recently challenged myself to rebuild my WordPress site in Wix Studio, and it went surprisingly well. It's a powerful website creation platform for agencies and freelancers. You can create pages intuitively with the drag and drop editor, and you can tap into power features like CMS collections and forms with conditional logic. I'm impressed with just how much Wix Studio can do with no third-party apps, but don't worry, there's an extensive marketplace of third-party apps if you need them. I want to thank Wix Studio for sponsoring this video and supporting the channel. And you can build your next client site on Wix Studio at the link below. Once your landing pages are built, you can move on to building your emails. Each platform's campaign builder is similar, but Active Campaigns Builder stands out because it automatically pulls your logo and brand colors from the domain in your business email. I've seen platforms import brand colors from websites before, but they normally ask for your website URL. I liked this extra touch of looking at the domain name in your email address and pulling from that if it's clearly a business email. You can also design emails from scratch, from templates, or with AI. If you prefer working with HTML, you can seamlessly switch back and forth between the drag and drop editor and the code view, something most editors don't support. Typically, you'll have to choose between designing the entire email from HTML HTML or sticking with the drag and drop editor. And speaking of HTML, every platform lets you design entire emails from HTML or embed HTML in the drag and drop editor. I find that Kit has the weakest campaign builder. It feels more like a Google Docs file than a robust editor. It's not truly drag and drop. You have to use these arrows to move sections and elements up and down, and sometimes I can't seem to select a desired block and end up moving the entire section. But each editor gets the job done, and I don't think any of the weaknesses here will be a deal breaker for most users. When it comes to automation, ActiveCampaign has the most powerful workflow tools. You can set up anything you can think of. ActiveCampaign lets you send marketing emails, one-on-one -on -one emails, transactional emails, internal email notifications, or show the subscriber a pop-up message next time they visit your website. You can also jump straight to an action at any time in the automation when the contact matches conditions. And there's even a perform math function. I'm not sure what you'd use this for, but it just goes to show you how capable it is. ActiveCampaign also has deep integration with apps, so you could send a DocuSign signature request or update a Google Sheet as part of your automation. Most platforms have simpler automation tools, allowing you to send timed emails, update tags, and use conditional if-else logic to determine a subscriber's path in the flow. MailChimp, ActiveCampaign, OmniSend, and Klaviyo all allow you to trigger webhooks. While MailChimp, OmniSend, and Klaviyo don't have nearly as many integrations as ActiveCampaign, you could send a simple webhook to Zapier or SureTriggers to effectively accomplish the same things. It will just require a bit more setup. Constant Contact and Kit have the most limited automation, though it's still going to be perfectly usable for many users. You know your automation needs best. If you're just setting up a simple welcome series, any of these platforms will do. But if you want a highly interactive workflow that integrates with your team's internal systems, ActiveCampaign may be best. Each platform can create dynamic segments that change based on current subscriber criteria. For example, you could create a segment of contacts that have opened at least one email in the past past 30 days, and this segment will always be up to date. ActiveCampaign has the most powerful segments thanks to its emphasis on AI. You can let AI predict a contact's geography, or create segments based on users who have visited your site within a window of time. Now, the reports were difficult to compare because I don't have comprehensive campaign data on each platform. Some of these platforms I've personally used, while others I've just tested for comparison's sake, so take this section with a grain of salt. MailChimp 
Active Campaign and Constant Contact stand out because they let you compare multiple campaigns against each other. Active Campaign also has an AI powered reporting assistant to highlight useful data, and they filter out bot clicks and inflated metrics so the data is more trustworthy. MailChimp, Active Campaign, and Constant Contact also offer link heat maps so you can visualize which links are most successful based on their placement in your email. Some platforms can sync your e-commerce data and show sales metrics. And speaking of e-commerce, let's take a look at those features. Every platform can connect to Shopify and WooCommerce except for Kit. While Kit offers commerce features, it's an in-house selling platform designed for digital products. You can use any platform to promote your products, but if e-commerce is your primary business, I would recommend a purpose-built platform like Klaviyo or Omnisend. These platforms specialize in boosting e-commerce revenue through automations like abandoned cart emails, custom promo codes, and dynamic product recommendations. So in the end, you can't go wrong with any of these email platforms, but there are some that stand out to me. If you need the best bang for your buck, go with Kit. The generous free plan with 10,000 contacts and unlimited sends is unheard of. With that being said, even the paid version of Kit is basic. It's designed for content creators looking to build a newsletter from their social media audience and grow revenue. And I'm not saying that Kit is bad, but for someone like me who likes to geek out over automation and dive into rich analytics, it leaves a lot to be desired. If you want the most well-rounded email platform, go with MailChimp. It's hard to beat the vast amount of integrations it has with third-party apps, and it's competitive in both pricing and features. My hesitation to use MailChimp is because it's owned by Intuit, and, well, I'm not a fan of Intuit's other products. I feel like they try to squeeze customers for every last penny, but I have to be honest, that's not what I'm seeing at MailChimp. If you want the most advanced email platform, go with ActiveCampaign. I am blown away by the automation features, thoughtful integrations, and powerful implementation of AI. It's not going to be for everyone because it is advanced. It has a bigger learning curve. But if you know exactly what you want and like to customize everything, you'll love Active Campaign. And finally, if you've got an e-commerce store, I would recommend Omnisend. It's more affordable than Klaviyo, it has better integration with WooCommerce, and you get access to almost all features in every plan. They reserve the advanced reports feature for the highest plan, but besides that, they aren't nickel and diming you for every little automation feature to get you to upgrade. Personally, I've been using Omnisend for a while. I'm not using it to its full potential because I don't have an e-commerce store other than Crailer.shop, but I love the customer service and automation features, and I think it's a great value even for non-e-commerce use. If you want to see how I migrated my newsletter from Kit to Omnisend, you can check out that video here.